Alright guys, today I'm working on the Yoda again, <clears throat> and I'm finally going to address the front end and put a grill, new bumper, and new valence on. Uh, new turn signals too, maybe clear lenses, maybe not. <laughs> the clear lenses that I have don't exactly fit, <clears throat> but I did buy a whole new assembly that... Uh, that should you know work with with it but anyway might also do the rear bumper today uh, I do have the rear bumper uh, I plan on doing it but um, definitely the front and these are the boxes I got three boxes here and then in here I have the brackets and then the, a new emblem because I never had a grill so I never had an emblem these are the clear lights <coughs> here But you know they're they're you know ex well, I say export uh, overseas models so the plug is wrong right here <clears throat> but this is all you know built in the housing and whatnot I just bought these because they were fairly cheap and you know if I needed to I could modify them because I ordered this one first because I couldn't find a set of OEMs that had the connector with it. And then I found a set, these, which actually come with the factory connector because my driver, my driver side, uh, is actually it was hit so much that this this connector is actually this ring is broken and pushed in, so you can't actually mount the light straight. You have to mount it and have the connector bent down. Um, and I could never I could never find these connectors by themselves, so I'm I'm glad I found. Uh, socket but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all this stuff and here's all the front end stuff not really happy with how chintzy the uh, the valence is the valence I ordered separate from the bumper and the grill because they actually came as a set the bumper and the grill came as a set um, <clears throat> this I had to buy separately and this is just shoot like just literal paper thin that mountain right there is even not not great it's, it's already bent um, <clears throat> bumper on the other hand is is pretty sturdy but again it's a bumper you're actually legally required to have a bumper have a certain amount of uh, amount of strength so maybe that's why that's thicker than that <clears throat> or just different you know manufacturers who knows you know I would love to get all OEM but that's more than I'm willing to spend at the moment um, unless I find uh, someone selling it at a decent price or I happen to find one in a junkyard then I'll, uh, that hasn't been hit in the front the grill is pretty good the grill I thought didn't come with any clips I went ahead and ordered a set of clips OEM clips but I found this taped to the inside so it actually does come with the clips and I guess these push pins go in the side of the grill and then the <clears throat> corner lights snap into it. These came with the front bumper. These are a little chintzy. But, uh, eh, I guess they'll do. Um, here's the emblem. Right here. Does not come with screws. Um, I have a bag of OEM, like, dash screws and stuff. And, like steering column screws that I can try to use it there with that if not I got some coarse thread just a, assortment of coarse thread screws that I can possibly use with that <clears throat> and yeah so I guess first things first is to pull out the the lights unless you go up to the bottom side and undo it but yeah pull out the lights and once you pull out the lights in the corner over here which kind of threw me for a loop when I was trying to adjust the bumper um, down here, right there, there is a, uh, like a double-ended stud, I think, if I, if it, if it's what I remember, there's like a piece of rubber in the center, there's a stud going out this side and a stud going out this side, you gotta take that off, <clears throat> and then for the bumper itself, 
there's uh, I think like two or three mounts that go into the body on each side and then you should just be able to pull this whole thing off all right got the uh, bumper off not too terrible there's two 14 millimeters right here on each side and then like I said through here there's a 12 millimeter if your fender liners are intact and your bumpers not bowed out there's actually access holes right here you can go straight through and get to them they bolt onto this uh, support fender support bracket right here and uh, yeah um, you can see a little bit more of the damage in the front um, the bumper took most of it which is thankful bumper took most of the damage the fender got some and then that got some and then there's the whole de deal with the rear end and the, the frame in the rear but that's that's not what we're dealing with right now um, <clears throat> And it's not it's not too terrible. It's something I could go through and fix right now if I wanted to, but I'd have to have to bend the header panel back straight, the uh, fender back straight because it's all crinkled, and also this bracket back here that, that bolts to the that holds the fender, that's also bent. Not really something I want to mess with right now. Plus, it would be a lot easier on a frame machine to do that, and this needs to get on a frame machine to fix the crank. Uh, in the rear of the rear of the frame but um if you're taking this off transferring everything over you do need to take these off each side you need to if you don't have new uh, turn signals you gotta take the captive nuts for the turn signal you gotta take the nuts off here for your new brackets you need to take all the bolts from the bumper to the valence and then all the little nuts that are on the back side the plastic push nuts and also you have to take these plastic, uh, these rubber pieces off. Those rubber pieces either sit below or above this. I don't know yet. So I'm going to start disassembling the bumper. I'm going to bring the brackets over here see how close they are. And uh, I'll go from there. Alright, I got everything separated. I got those little nuts in the, uh, in the valence already. And there's a little bolt, a uh, coarse thread bolt for it. I did run into an issue. This is the little side bracket for the passenger side. As you can see how folded, the, folded over those threads are. Well, I was going to run the nut in and out of it to try to, uh, you know, just make sure it will go in and out. Yeah, it's stuck now. It's only free spinning. You can kind of see that right there. So I found them online. Uh, they still make them, or at least they're still available, the, the factory, factory ones. So I went ahead and ordered those. Um, so I'll just have to run without the passenger side. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. I would hope. If not, I can, you know, straighten everything up later. So I'm going to keep this. Now I can just bring the other uh, bumper pieces in, the valence and the bumper, and start putting it together. Well, got the valence on. The bumper, and it's a crapshoot. That hole's not even close to lining up. I got this one to line up after I pushed it, and then it bent, that bent out right there. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to be keeping my eye out on a factory set of bumpers because uh, <clears throat> this is uh, a bit crazy. I mean, it's aftermarket parts and two aftermarket parts for that matter. But it's what I could get. There was none. None of these trucks are local to the junkyard. Um, and uh, <clears throat> anything that you find online that's from, you know, OEM that's being shipped is outrageously expensive too expensive for for the truck so um, I'll just deal with it just trying to at least get the front end put together I'm not trying to do show quality or anything like that so uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have trouble with these mounting tabs for the lights so I'm gonna get my factory lights and I'm gonna get the tabs and I am going to mess with these to try to get them to, uh, to where I can just put the lights in without having to worry about messing with anything. Alright, there we go. I decided to use the factory bracket on this side because it's not bent or anything, or if it is, it's very minor. <coughs> use the aftermarket bracket on this side. Again, it is... <laughs> I got a buddy that's been doing body work for over 10 years now, and uh, now I understand why he hates working with, after with aftermarket uh, body parts. <coughs> I've had some aftermarket parts, like on my Sonoma, I put aftermarket uh, 
front bumper, valence, and uh, grill, and headlights and stuff because I was swapping the front end from GMC to Chevy because I was doing the entire extreme body kit. So I was going to have the extreme valence plus the body kit and everything. <clears throat> but um, never, got, never got around to doing that. But I, I kind of figured out with that, with the little bit of, you know, non-fitting but this is on a whole nother level of non of the hodgepodge. Um, as long as it mounts on the truck, decent. I'm, I'm fine. So uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start test fitting the grill, put the emblem in the grill, and then go from there. And then I'll come back for the bumper. I got the grill on, and yes, the emblem's not on it because even though the emblem. In the Toyota parts catalog said it would fit. It uh, does not fit. I don't know if it's because this grill is designed for a non-American, uh, a non-North American uh, Toyota, or if the part number somehow got switched up and I and I somehow ordered the wrong one. So I have to double check all that. <coughs> or this molding is wrong. But anyway, I got the bumper in. All the top clips are in. The middle bottom clip is in that outside clips in that clip won't clip in <clears throat> because this ac line's in the way somehow i don't know why this ac line's in the way um but it won't push any farther in because this this mount this rubber isolator right here is hitting why is the rubber isolator hitting i don't know because that's where it's supposed to be mounted so that's something to figure out under the day um that's not popped in because obviously that's all pushed back and the one right here isn't popped in because it won't actually click for some reason but it's in it's it's holding um so and once you get the uh, side pieces in they clip into here so it'll kind of hold it in anyway which that's what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to put the the side lights the marker lights on and um and then i'll come and bring the bumper and put that on all right, this side, eh, this is actually an aftermarket lens, or no, this is my, yes, this is an aftermarket lens, and uh, these little clips that clipped into here weren't very convincing. Uh, I don't know how open they're supposed to be on the other side, but these won't even go in and, like, hold or anything. I mean, it's in there, kind of, but only because it's being forced in by the screws, this is actually a factory lens, factory Toyota lens, and it's actually pushed in the bottom and actually pretty good. The top one is kind of pushed in too. <clears throat> but when I pushed the clips in, they didn't spread apart. One side spread apart fine, the other one kind of stayed closed. I don't know how far they're supposed to be spread apart, how closed they're supposed to be or not, but this side seems to clip in pretty good. <clears throat> I guess this main video is uh, how, how to install aftermarket parts that don't fit. Or how not to install parts on your boat or near a Toyota pickup, but as old as this thing is, it's harder to find these factory parts that people are willing to part with and not charge an exorbitant amount of money. So uh, I guess time to put the bumper on. And there it is, all put together. Once it's on, it doesn't look terrible. It looks a lot better than it was. It actually looks like a truck. And uh, I got the amber lights in. I took the lenses off the non-American, uh, North American models over to the ones that had the twist lock in the back, which is the, what this has. Um, pretty good. I actually used the factory twist lock on that side because I could not get the LED bulb to sit down in there. The way those sockets are, they are not friendly to LEDs. The Because <clears throat> when you try to stick it and push it, the way the LED is designed and how deep that connector goes it on bottoms out pretty much before you can even spin it almost i was able to get that one in and tight that one wouldn't get in so i just used the factory connector and it was a lot looser and it fit a lot better <clears throat> now i got to work on getting an emblem so now i'm going to move to the back bumper all right there's the rear bumper it's heavy duty a lot heavier duty than the front stuff Here's the brackets and the bolts. Would have been nice if these came painted, but whatever. Um, 
think this is the frame side and this is the bumper side because <clears throat> there's only two mounting holes on the bumper so I assume this is the passenger side this is the driver side and eight bolts so yeah eight bolts so two on the inside two on the bumper there's a lot of other holes anyway <clears throat> These were these are old hitch brackets, I assume. These were bolted to the frame. As you can see, my frame is uh, a little bit dented right there, and for some reason, there's a bunch of weld. Don't know why there's a bunch of weld splatter because it's not even good welds. And that side's all kinds of messed up too. I just noticed that this uh, um, bracket right here is really messed up. Um, it's supposed to go in on one side and then in on the other side, but it's all forced towards the driver's side from the wreck. But I assume that's like that because there is, there's a kink in the frame right there. So the frame is a little cattywampus on that side. Um, this side's all nice and straight though. <clears throat> that will be getting addressed at some point. Um, I just got to make arrangements with my buddy that works at the body shop so we can get this thing all straightened out. But, uh, yeah, so I assume bracket there, 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 and the bumper goes on. I think I'm going to hand put the brackets on and then kind of line up the bumper and see if everything fits about right. It's going to be all cattywampus because the whole entire bed sits like that due to the, the, the bend in the frame on the driver's side. So, we'll see how it looks. And there it is, all installed. It's... Like I said, the frame's bent. I got it somewhat straight, but I don't have a really good clear shot at it because I'm backed up almost at, at the garage. This side's higher than this side. I was trying to kind of even them out, but if I evened out this side with that side, it'd be way down. So I just kind of kind of got it with the bottom of the bumper. It's, it's not, you know, it's a little like that, but it could have been way worse. It really needs to be like that. But um, this, the I guess the frame on this side is pinched in a little bit. Or maybe both of them are pinched in from when it was wrecked. Probably pushed the bumper in, you know, pushed the bed up, bent the frame on this side. It probably bent this frame a little bit because when I put the mounts on, they were like a full mount width off of fitting. So I loosened the mounts all the way up, slid the bumper on, put the bumper on, got it where I needed to with some jacks. And... Uh, cinch down the frame and then cinch down the bumper and that got got the bumper on it's still you know it's not show quality but it does the truck has finally got bumpers now front and rear um so yeah that's pretty good um the way it's sitting i probably would never trust that to tow a trailer however it is pretty heavy duty um it could do like a light trailer like a little light single axle a four-wheeler type trailer um but with the way this one's mounted currently i probably wouldn't do that just because how the bolts aren't completely cinched down on the sides so i'm going to have to get some washers to space it out so i can really cinch the bolts down if i were to put a small four-wheeler trailer on this for anything but uh yeah and the bolts on the side mount in the front one and then the third bolt hole the second bolt hole and fourth bolt hole don't mount to anything unless you want to drill holes. But yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.